อพอ Do you want this tip of the iceberg slide? Which, by the way, was handcrafted by Slide Cow, meaning it is 100% customizable for absolutely free. Then please do us a favor: click on the first link in our description and sign up to our mailing list for tons of updates and exclusive content. Your welcome email to our mailing list will consist of a download link for the slide. Also, if you have Facebook, please go to facebook.com/slidecow and follow our page. Thanks, guys. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is YoYo, and together we're going to make your slides amazing. This week's video is truly an eye popper. We're going to make a 3D pie chart that actually looks good. Now, before we get into this one, I have three important messages. First and foremost, this video is a little tedious. Therefore, I highly recommend that you follow everything I do step by step in order to get a feel for it first. After that, you can experiment however you'd like. Second of all, if you have more than six data components or slices of the pie, then please do not use this technique as it will be difficult to get results that actually look good. So stick to six or less. For example, I only have four on mine. Finally, make sure the data you have is correct before making this pie chart. The reason why is that it's difficult for us to amend this 3D pie chart easily. Okay, so let's get started. Step one: make the pie chart using Excel. All right. So first things first, I'm just going to make a duplicate of this slide, and I'm just going to delete all the components in it because we want a blank slide, obviously. Now open up Excel, and already you can see on the C column over here, I have my quarters, which are essentially my categories, and on the D column, I have my revenue, which is essentially my data itself. So I'm just gonna highlight both of these columns over here and click on Insert, and then click on the Pie Chart option and click on 2D Pie. Do not click on the 3D Pie. Just click on the 2D Pie and trust me on that one. So click on the 2D Pie here and delete the chart title and delete the legend itself. Then press on Control C to copy it, Alt Tab, and then paste it into your blank slide. Uh, increase the size a bit. Don't worry about positioning for now. We'll fix that up later. And that essentially is step one completed. Step two: edit the pie chart before adding the 3D effect. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to click on the pie chart and then press on Control X to cut it. Go to Home and just under the Paste button here, you have a little black arrow. Click on that and click on Paste Special. Then what you want to do is you want to click one of these options over here, which is Picture Enhanced Meta File. This one right here. Click on OK and press on Control Shift G to ungroup it. What that does is is that it changes it from a pie chart that you can edit to a Microsoft Office drawing object. What is a Microsoft Office drawing object? You ask. You know those rectangles and those shapes and those icons that I taught you in previous videos that can be edited any way you'd like. That's exactly what it is, and that's exactly what we're after to add that 3D effect. So you want to click on Yes, and then you want to click on the transparent background behind the pie chart. And then press on delete, right? So now you're just left with the pie chart. Now all we're going to do is that we're just going to color it. So I'm just going to click on the big chunk over here. Click on format. Click on shape fill. Eyedropper tool. I make it red. And this one's going to be purple. This one's going to be a bluish color. And this one I think is the same color as the yellowish color I have on the left side here. Yeah. Okay. Right, cool. It is. So then you want to click on the pie chart again as a whole. And uh, click on Format, click on Shape Outline, and then click on No Outline. It is really important that you guys don't have an outline. I repeat this: please be sure you do not have an outline. All right. So now what you want to do is you want to rotate this pie chart object thing that you have over here to the left a bit. And the reason why is because we want the biggest chunk. I repeat, the biggest chunk of our pie chart at the top. Why? Well, if you look over here, the biggest chunk of the pie chart is actually at the back, right? If we had it at the front, then we wouldn't be able to see the other data components. Okay, so it's really important that you have the biggest chunk or chunks at the back. It is really important for that to happen, right? Once you're happy with that, click on the pie chart, press on Control X again, and do the exact same thing we did last time. Go to Home, click on the black arrow, click on Paste Special, go to Picture Enhanced Meta File, click on OK. Press on Control Shift G to ungroup it. Click on OK again, and go back. Delete the transparent background. Click on it. Click on Format. Click on Shape Outline. No outline. Perfect. All right. Second step done. Step three: Add the 3D effect. All right, ladies and gentlemen. 
Here comes the fun part. I'm just gonna increase the size of this pie chart for now. Again, positioning, we can worry about that later. Right click on it and click on format shape. Click on this little pentagon option over here. It represents effects, right? Click on that. And then already you can see a lot of categories just like this. The first thing you wanna click on is 3D format, which is just over here. Under top bevel, you wanna change the height to 200, all right? And then it'll automatically add the width to be six points. You wanna delete that. You don't want any points on this. So press on zero and that's all you need to do. Move down, keep the width for the bottom bevel zero and keep the height for that zero as well. Keep this untouched, the depth, and keep the contour also untouched. Material, it stays the same as it is, which is warm matte, right? Lighting, however, we wanna change that. We wanna change that to, I believe it was soft, this option right here, right, which is soft. And you wanna change the angle of that to 300 for now, right, for now. Once that's done, close the 3D format option and open up 3D rotation. Change the 3D rotation to 300 for the Y axis. And there you go. You can already see your 3D pie chart came to life. It is awesome. I'm just gonna bring up this pie chart to the middle here and that is the third step done. Step four, adapt the 3D pie chart to the data. All right, so now we have a 3D pie chart. Are we done? Not even close, not even close guys. We have to correlate the pie chart slices or chunks or whatever or components to the data itself. What do I mean by this? Let's look over here, right? 8.3 million represents the biggest chunk or slice of the pie. And that's why it's standing tall. It's the biggest chunk, it's powerful. I'm 8.3 million, right? 1.5 million is the shortest slice of the pie. It represents an insignificant amount into the pie chart itself, which is why it's standing so small and low, like it's defeated. Like I'm just 1.5, oh no. So, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to correlate that. So a lot of you are thinking, well, that's easy, right? You can just click on this, ungroup it and resize it. Let's try that. Let's ungroup it. This is what happens when you ungroup it. And that's why it gets really tedious. You actually have to manually readjust uh, every single one of these shapes, however you'd like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to have the pie chart that we had, right? And I'm just gonna make a duplicate of it and delete it. So I just want a blank slide, yeah? I'm gonna go back into our big cake pie chart thing and click on the biggest chunk first, right? And to do that, you wanna double click it. So you wanna do it like this. That way you see that there's this faint little rectangle around it, that means you selected that one in particular. Press on Control C to copy it, go into the next slide and press on Control V, all right? And there you go, that's one slice of the pie. We're happy with that. Then what we want to do is we wanna bring in another slice of the pie, but we wanna resize it as well. Go back to this and click on the purple slice of the pie, right? Then go to Effects, click on 3D Format and just change that to a lower number, right? less than 200, so I put mine to 150. It doesn't have to be exact. Remember, we're just symbolizing, right? We're not making it exact data. So press on enter and just copy that over here. We have that, all right, cool. Now we're just going to hold shift and bring it up over here until it matches the pie, perfect. Okay, so that's two slices of the pie. Let's bring in the next one. So our next one is over here, the turquoise bluish one. We'll go into effects over here, go to 3D format. We had 150 on the purple, so let's make this one, I don't know, 100. And we're gonna copy that, paste that over here. Okay, so already you can see that there's a little bit of overlap. Don't worry, before you even do anything, go to, with the shape selected that you have over here, go to format, and then over here in the arrange options, Click on send backward until it's just behind the purple, but in front of the red. So send backward, there we go, done. It was just one click, right? And then you wanna bring it up using the arrow keys now. We're getting precise now. Perfect, all right. The next one is the yellow one. We're gonna change the size of this to 50. So 50 in the height, press enter. Copy that, paste that, go to format. Go to send backward, send backward again, and there we go. And just press down with the arrow key until you get the desired effect. All right, before moving on to the next step, what I want to do is just show you guys just one thing, right? 
Over here, I have my purple slice on the left, yet over here, it's on the right. Why did I do that? I did that just to show you guys that there are options in terms of placing your slices, okay? How did I do that? Very easy, actually. Press on control, click on the purple one, click on the blue one, click on the yellow one. Do not click the red one. Press on control G to group it up, click on arrange, click on rotate, and then flip horizontal. And then it's just a matter of you positioning it with the arrow keys like you see over here. And I think that looks absolutely perfect. Yep. There we go, perfect. Be sure that that group is ungrouped and then include the red chunk over here Press on Ctrl G to group it up again, and there we go. And that is the fourth step completed. Step five, add the text and the numbers. All right, so I'm just gonna resize this pie chart a bit so I have enough space for my text and numbers. Bring that up in the middle, drag that down. Just be aware when you resize, um, the slices tend to move a bit, so you just have to manually readjust that. So I'm just gonna bring that down over here. I'm just gonna bring that down over here until, yep, that is per, Perfection, I think. That was perfection. All right, cool. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to insert. We're going to click on the text box option. And I'm just going to write in the uh, data representing the chunk. So for example, over here, I just have 8.3 million. And at the bottom, I'm just going to put in quarter one. I'm going to change the font to this to my favorite font. Pants on black caps. And uh, the top part here is just gonna be font 30, size 30, and this one here is gonna be a 15. And I'm just gonna change the color of this to red, which is just this red over here, actually. Drag that out to the left, and we're gonna justify the text a bit, which is, I believe, right here. All right, cool. Second thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring in a text block, you know, that describes or analyzes each data chunk. So over here, for example, I have a little bit of a text block over here for you guys. I'm gonna be using that one to save time. Just be sure that you use a bit of text that sort of explains why or how or what this means or whatever so your audience can follow along, yeah? So I'm just gonna bring that up over here and just connect the two just like that. Um, then I'm just gonna highlight everything just like this and press on Control G to group it. I'm gonna bring this downwards over here. I'm gonna bring this to the right side over here. And I'm going to also bring this to the right side over here. And then it's just a matter of really uh, editing and changing and whatever. So this one's gonna be a 5.3 and it's gonna be purple. This is a quarter two, I believe. This one is a quarter three, and it's 2.3 with, yep, there we go. And this one is a 1.5, and it's quarter four, and this is the yellow. So where are we? Oh, there we are. Cool. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to add these little lines connecting to each and every slice of cake. I actually have a weird little trick for this. I'm glad I get to teach it to you guys today. It's actually really handy, right? So what you want to do is you want to go to insert, shapes, and then click on the rectangle. Just draw one rectangle on each and every slice, just like this. Don't worry about the coloring. Don't worry about the positioning. Just put it roughly, right? Then what you want to do is you want to click on insert and then shapes and then click on this little line right here, which is connector elbow, right? So I'm just going to copy this to each and every one, just like that. So I have one over here. I have one over here. I have one over here, and I have one over here. Cool. All right, so now I'm just gonna click on each and every line. So one, hold control, this one, this one, and this one. And I'm going to go to the format shape options over here. To do that, just like, you know, right click on any of them, just click on format object. So uh, I'm gonna change the color of this to a lightish grayish color, just like this. 
gonna change the width to around two points, just like that. And uh, the dash type is just gonna be something like this, all right? And uh, this is where you need to know um, the begin and end arrow type and sizes. So over here, for example, I have uh, little circles, right, over here. And you can actually do that without adding circles from insert shape. So just click on each and every line like I showed you before. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to begin arrow type this circle over here and end arrow type this circle over here. And that way you can see that the circles themselves are all connected uh, just like this automatically. Now you're asking, well, yo, yo, what about the rectangles, right? They, they look disgusting. My friends, here's your solution. Click on each and every rectangle. Don't delete them. Don't delete them. But instead what you want to do, right, is you want to go to format, you want to go to shape fill, click on no fill, and then go to shape outline, no outline. And that way it's invisible. What you see is what you get on PowerPoint. So for example, I see over here on my yellow um, slice, it's a bit, you know, skewed. It's, it's, not, it's not how I want it to be, right? So I just select the little shape thing and just press on the right option here and move that up. And that way, we're all gravy, right? So there we go, perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done. I understand it was a little tedious, but I just wanted to show you what we could do with PowerPoint and not all 3D charts look bad. It just depends on what kind of flavor you have for them. It's always awesome teaching you guys. Please, please, please do visit slidecow.com and sign up to our mailing list. It'll mean a lot to us, a lot to us. Also go check out the Facebook page, right? Uh, there's a slide cow community there. There are hundred likes you guys get to talk. I'm always responsive on Facebook and email I'm always responsive on Facebook and email. I have my phone on me all the time all the time You guys have no idea. So be sure to talk to me send me an email send me a message on Facebook, whatever I'm almost there Anyway guys, it was fun. Let's have another fun one next week. Be safe